Now, what was my point that I was going to make to close this thing out? I have absolutely no idea. See, that's why you just have to, when you got a point, when you got a rant, you just got to run with it or write it down because you're, 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 oh, here we go. These overreactions. See, we got to stop overreacting to everything that happens. Let me just change this. Let's talk hoops. Where's my damn thing at? So we got to stop overreacting to everything that happens. I did overreactions, but guess what? My overreactions were a parody of everyone's overreactions. Because I understood that these games are game by game. Like, just because the home team went up 2-0 doesn't mean the, the, the series is over. And just because the, the home team wins game three and now we're at 2-1, it doesn't mean that, oh, God, the series is flipped. And we got to stop crowning these players as, as superstars and stars before they finish the deal. Now, again, I tell you, it is very important to look at the supporting actors in the movie to, 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 to get a, a understanding of how that movie is going to go. If the supporting actors don't show up more times than not, the movie's not going to be good. But when your main character doesn't show up, when your number one supporting actor, your, 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 your B doesn't show up, you're cooked. And when we look at what's happened with Devin Booker, Devin Booker hasn't been the same since he broke his nose. Understandable. But when the man only has 10 points in a finals game, that's a problem. Even in his good games, when he's not shooting at a high percentage, he hasn't shot above 50% since, like, game one of the Clipper series. That's a problem. But the problem is that he's not getting called out for it because we don't even hold him to that expectation. So because we don't hold him to that expectation, we can't call him a budding superstar. We have to say he's a really good player or he's a star. You know, like when Jason Tatum shit to bed against um against Brooklyn, we didn't like say, oh God, Jay, where's Jason Tatum? We're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Not a superstar. When Trey Young, granted he was hurt, did not show up. In game six versus the Bucks, I didn't hear anybody calling for Trey Young's head. I didn't hear people saying, oh, we've overrated Trey Young. Why? Because he's not a superstar. And it's okay not to be a superstar. Hell, one of my issues with, with Giannis and, and where I'm kind of eating crow now is I was slow to the Giannis party. Why? Prove it to me. Prove it to me in the playoffs. Not just your team winning, but let me look at your numbers. Let me look at your production. Let me see that your production is a part of the winning, and you're just not producing at a high level, but the people around you aren't winning. And then I'll go tip my hat. He's a superstar. If Giannis pulls this out, he's a bona fide, certified top what? Best player in the league? Top two? No lower than top three? Like, what? what is the argument against him? You tell me the argument against him, and I'll say, hey, you 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 show me an argument, I got it. Because I told you, like, LeBron's reign is over, and it looks like we're about to feel, fear the deer, and the Greek freak is the new face of the NBA. We fallin', big babies. We fallin', big babies. Big baby, yeah.